taking a look at question number 64 from your 2.5 homework. This question is a bit of a monstrosity. There's a lot going on here. Um, <clears throat> we need to evaluate the expression. That means we're going to need to use order of operations. Uh, we have an exponent going on. There is multiplication going on between that exponent and the parentheses. And then we have parentheses. Uh, so we are going to want to do our parentheses first. So I'm just going to bring that uh, number down and subtract it. I'm going to add in a little placeholder there. 4 minus 0 is 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. I can't take away uh, 4 from 0, so I'm going to borrow. 10 minus 4 is 6. Bring down that decimal. 5 minus 5 is 0. So that part was quick. So we now have 7.5 squared, or 7 and 5 tenths squared, times, in parentheses, 0 0.644, or 644 thousandths. Next, we, are going, we have multiplication and we have exponents, so we're going to want to solve our exponent first. So this means 7.5 times 7.5. So we're going to do that math off to the side. I'm going to move my decimals out. Go one place to the right um, for both of them. So that means in my final answer, I'm going to go back two places to the left. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry my 2. 5 times 7 is 35. Plus 2 is 37. I'm going to put in a placeholder, multiply 7 times 5, which is 35, carry my 3. 7 times 7 is 49, plus 3 is 52. We're going to add those, end up with 5, 12, carry the 1. Sorry, I'm not switching colors, guys, trying to get through this one quickly. Uh, 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 is 6. And then we have a 5. Then it's important to move our decimal back in two places. So we end up with 56.25, which this is close to, let's say, 7 times 8, which is 56, because we have a half on one and a half on the other. Um, so that does seem like a reasonable answer for multiplying those two. So we now have 56 and 25 hundredths times 644 thousandths. And this is our last step. We're going to multiply these two things out. I'll do that over to the side. 56 and 25 hundredths times. And remember, it is not important to line up decimals when you're multiplying. Just line up the number that is furthest to the right. So the 5 and the 4 needed to be lined up. We're going to move out our decimals. 1, 2, 3 spaces to the right. And 1, 2 spaces to the right. So at the end, we're going to end up moving 5 spaces. 5 times 4 is 20. Let's change colors since there's a lot going on here. 20. Put down my zero, carry my two. Four times two is eight. Nine, ten, carry my one. Four times six is twenty-four. Plus one is twenty-five, carry my two. Oops. And four times five is twenty, plus two is twenty-two. Off. Now, when we go to multiply the tens place, we need to put in our placeholder. But you should notice that you have the same numbers, so you're actually just going to put in all of the same values that you had for the multiplication that you just did. 0, 0, 5, 2, 2. Just make sure you're lining them up properly. And then our last step is going to be to multiply everything by the hundredths place or the hundreds, not the hundredths. 
the hundreds, which is the six. So we're putting in, oops, wrong color. Put in two placeholders. Six times five is 30. Carry the three. Six times two is 12. 13, 14, 15, carry the one. Six times six is 36, plus one is 37. And six times five is 30, plus three is 33. So we have a huge answer going on here. Uh, we have all zeros. So we end up with zero there, all zeros again. Five, 12, carry the one. Uh, 7 plus 2 is 9, 10, 11, 12, carry the 1, 5, 6, and 3. But we're not quite done yet. We need to move our um, decimal in five places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our final answer is going to be 36 and two hundred and twenty-five hundredths. A lot of work for that question. And that is it for question 64. If you guys have any questions, make sure to email me. And there's the bell, so get to class. Just kidding. <laughs>